what it is. What's up? What's up? Got your nigga in the cup. God damn. Today we're learning Storm Rush. It's a little bit more complicated than Stormbreaker and Storm Inertia. It's, yeah, it's a bit more difficult, but, you know, it's still doable. But, yeah, let's uh show you what that looks like right here. First things first, um, in order to do the Storm Rush and Storm Rush Mark II, you're going to want to have your one of your shortcuts uh, set to charge jump. What this will do is it'll allow you to press the shortcut button and it'll give you an instantaneous jump like that instead of having to hold R2 and X to charge it and then, you know, taking all that time. So next. You want to reroute this shortcut, whichever one you have charge jump set to, you want to reroute it to um, L3. I don't have it rerouted because I have back buttons, so um, I don't need to, but if you don't have back buttons, then uh, this is the best way to go. So you go to your shortcut right here, click it, and then press L3, and then it'll be rerouted to L3. Um, and now you can do that. All right, now that that's out the way, we can move on to learning the Storm Rush. So the Storm Rush and Storm Rush Mark II work for both Swing Kick and Air Launcher, but I prefer Storm Rush Mark II for Swing Kick. Um, I'm gonna show you why in a second here. What you're gonna wanna do for the Storm Rush is you're gonna wanna jump backwards this way Okay, like say this is the enemy, this pole right here. What you're going to want to do is jump backwards and then to the right like that. But that's not what it's going to look like. You're going to do it really fast. Yeah, just uh, pretend this is the enemy, storm jump like that. And, and you can also jump to the left like that. You know, keep practicing that. And once you get it down, you can probably move on to enemy. So for Storm Rush Mark II, it's similar to Storm Rush. The only difference is the directions that you point your L3. But for so for the directions that you want to jump, you jump diagonally to the left or diagonally to the right. Okay, I'm not jumping like in a 90 degree direction, kind of like a 90 degree right. I'm jumping more from this shadow to that shadow in that direction. And I'm also dodging after you jump, after you storm jump, I'm dodging this way. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. As you can see, I jumped around and dodged this way. Okay. All right. So like that, that's GBG's version. And then if you want to do it for the swing kick version, uh, you could you could do it like that. I, I just don't like the way it looks. I mean, it still looks good, but I prefer uh, this way because you st you get behind them and it looks, it's just so sick. Um, but you could do it this way. I just like the other version because 
if you do it that way, you get behind them. And it still looks uh, similar to the the air launcher. I, mean, I know I made it, but I, I really don't know what to call it. That's Stormbreaker Inertia right there, for those of you who don't know. Um, you jump to the right and then back. Or if you're jumping to the left, if you're jumping to the left, then you, then you dodge back. So, like that. You could do Inertia for the swing kick as well, like that. But, I don't know, it's... I rarely see anyone doing that, but... Yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. You know, just comment your thoughts. Anything, you know, it, it really does help. But other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in the comments and in the next video. Peace. Here we go. Got my position. Let's hit the bro. Came along. Now my people here.